the problem statement from gate physics 2015 paper reads as follows which one of the following does not represent an exclusive or operation for inputs a and b so this means there are two inputs uh, given a and b and we need to find that which one of these following does not represent an xor operation so these are the four options uh, this is a multiple choice question with only one correct answer and we need to find the correct one now uh, this is this is the symbol of of an xor uh, of an xor logic gate this is how it's represented the two inputs are a and b and the output here we can see is y and this is uh, this is sim uh, this is the symbol for that and it is represented using this this so plus and the plus is encircled in a circle so and algebraically this is re represented as this a bar b plus ab bar a dot is nothing but multiplication and bar is your negation right and this is the truth table for uh, for this for this xor symbol so this is a two input one so uh, the truth table is nothing but we list all the possible combinations that are there and then we try to find the output so for instance since it's two input the possible combinations are a is 0 b is 0 second combination is a is 0 b is 1 third possible combination is a is 1 b is 0 and the fourth and last combination is a is 1 and b is 1 now we'll try to evaluate the the output value for the for the first row so when input a is 0 and b is 0 we'll try to evaluate what is the value of y so note note that the expression for this is a bar b plus ab bar so let's say for the first row a is 0 b is 0 so a is 0 so 0 bar will 1 1 times 0 is 0 plus 0 times 1 so answer will come out to be 0 second when a is 0 b is 1 so a is 0 the first term will come out to be 0 bar times 1 plus 0 times 1 bar so that will be 1 times 1 plus 0 times 0 so it will come out to be 1 and we know this comes comes out to be 1 third a is 1 b is 0 so let's put at put this here so it's 1 bar times 0 plus 1 times 0 bar so that comes out to be 0 times 0 Plus one times one, which is equal to one, and hence the answer is one. The fourth is both are one, so we'll try to put that here. One bar times one plus one times one bar. This will come out to be zero times one plus one times zero. So this comes out to be zero, and this also comes out to be zero. So zero plus zero is zero, and hence we get the final when the both inputs are one. The output of the XOR gate is zero. Uh, this this is also known as exclusive OR. Exclusive means only when one of the inputs are one, then only the output is one. So in OR gate, you remember, even if both inputs were one, the output was one. So this is not the case. So only when only one of the inputs is one, that's why it's called exclusive. Only when exactly one of the inputs is one, then only the output is one for a two-input XOR gate. Okay. So we do know that the expression for the output expression is a b bar plus a bar b. This this is the expression that we know is true for XOR gate. The question asks which does not represent. So you note option B first. It's very easy to see. The option B says a b bar plus a bar b. So th 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 this is exactly what we what we saw as the XOR gate. So option B cannot be the correct answer because this is the expression for XOR gate. Note that we are to find which does not represent. Okay. Now uh, for for other three we have to solve it. So let's first solve the option A. So option A says. A plus B times A B whole bar. Now, based on De Morgan's law, De Morgan's law says that A B whole bar is nothing but A bar plus B bar. So let's put that here. So we get A plus B times A B whole bar will become A bar plus B bar. And now we multiply. So there are two terms here, two terms here. So it will come a a bar plus b a bar plus a b bar plus b b bar. Now note that this term and this term will be zero. Why will it? Why it will be zero? Because let's assume that the value of a is one. Okay. So the value of a is one. So one times one bar. So this will come out to be zero. 
when a is 1. Similarly, when a is 0, this will be 0 times 0 bar, which is again 0. So whatever be the value of a, the output is always 0. So this term will always be 0. Similarly, this term will again always be 0. So what I get is I get b a bar plus a b bar. I'll just re the bring the first term forward. So a b bar and these are multiplied. So a times b is nothing, x times y is nothing but y times x. So I'll write as a bar p. Now note that this is nothing but expression of xor. So option a is also the expression for xor. So this is, this is also xor. So this is also, this option cannot be correct again. Now let's try to option solve b. We have already seen that it's xor. So let's try to solve option c. c is a plus b times a bar plus b bar. Now note that we already solved this a times b into a bar plus b bar. So option a and option c are effectively the same. So I'll just write it just for the sake of completion a a bar plus a b bar plus b bar a plus b b bar. These two terms go to zero. The the bar terms, uh, sorry, not the bar terms. This term and this term will go to zero. We saw that, right? This is the reason here. And finally, so it will come a b bar plus b bar a, which is nothing but xor again. So, but we see that yet again that option c is also xor. So c cannot be the correct option again. Now. Let's come to option D. So option D says the output is, let's say the output is y. y is equal to a plus b times ab. I'll simply multiply them. So it will be a times ab plus b times ab. This will be, so a times a is nothing but a. So I can write this at ab plus, again, take b to the right side because it's commutative. So we can do that. Multiplication is commutative in Boolean algebra. So B will take that side. So it will be again AB. And AB plus AB is nothing but AB again. Because if you add 0 to 0, the answer would be 0. If you add 1 to 1, the answer would be 1 again. So this is this is part of Boolean algebra. So, so the, if we add the same signal twice, we get the signal again. Note that this is not the expression for an XOR gate. This is an AND gate. You know that. The expression for AND gate is this. For a two input AND gate, the expression is A times B. So this is not this is AND gate, right? We obtain AND gate here. So this is nothing but AND. So option A, option B, option C were all XOR. Option D is AND. So this is the correct option. Note that we are required to find which does not represent XOR. Option D represent AND gate. Option D does not represent XOR gate. And hence, option D is the correct answer. Thank you for listening.